Kia ora, good evening. The Easter holiday road toll is now at seven after a fourth person died of their injuries from a horror crash between two cars and a motorcycle near Lake Pukaki. Police are urging motorists to take care and drive to the conditions as holiday makers head home this evening. Grace Thomas reports. Today, the Malaysian High Commissioner arrived in Christchurch to offer support to the victims of Saturday's horror crash in Lake Pukaki and their families. It was shocking. It was shocking and, and a bit overwhelming for all of us. Yeah, But um, everyone pulled through together. So the, that, that was amazing to see all the Malaysian community come together. Yes. Two vehicles and a motorcycle collided on State Highway 8. Three people died at the scene and a fourth died last night in hospital. Two of the deceased have been identified as Malaysian students who had been studying at the University of Canterbury. We are trying to, to ensure that the bodies are all being released and we will, um, we will arrange for the, the repatriation of the body as per the parents' wishes. Whatever they wish, uh, uh, we will respect that. Yeah. This Easter weekend has been everything police don't want to see on our roads. The reaction is one of utter disappointment. The biggest belief, I guess, that um, some people just don't understand the basics, uh, even though they are really, really simple. With seven dead and many others seriously injured, it's already the highest Easter holiday road toll since 2021, when seven people also died. Road safety campaigner Clive Matthew Wilson says there's no need for simple mistakes to end up as fatalities if the government prioritises safeguarding roads. Roundabouts, medium barriers, roadside fencing could be stopping at least half our accidents on our highways. But it's not just cars causing issues on the road. Waikato police have urged caution after three serious tractor crashes in the central North Island over the weekend. Whenever the weather's good, we see a huge number of tractors on the road. Also, given that we've got drought in some regions, there's not much grass growing and farmers are having to travel up and down the road keeping their livestock well fed. In the space of just two hours on Saturday, there was a fatal crash between a motorcycle and tractor in Richmond Downs. Two people were then seriously injured after a crash with a tractor near Tekawiti. And a tractor collided with a car at the intersection of Pond Road and State Highway 29 in the Matamata Piako district. It's really important that um, people uh, keep a good lookout and um, keep an eye out for those tractors because if you hit a tractor, um, again, it's the thing that doesn't move, um, it's unforgiving. The official Easter holiday period ends at 6am on Tuesday and police say they need all road users to play their part to make sure the toll doesn't get any higher. Grace Thomas, News Hub. The journey from holiday mode back to everyday life is a slow one for thousands heading home tonight after the long weekend. Karen Rutherford joins us now from State Highway 1 at Topiti north of Hamilton. Kia ora Karen, how's it looking? Well, Laura, predictably, the Easter traffic snarl-ups are upon us heading into Auckland. It is very slow around Takanini. Here, north of Hamilton at Taupiri, it is uh, snail's pace, effectively. It's taking around 25 minutes to travel three kilometres. But this is a daily occurrence, Laura. Uh, remedial works have been going on here for 18 months. NZTA Waka Kotahi tells us it will be another year before four-laning here is complete. Now, this is becoming increasingly frustrating for motorists and truckies who are trying to get uh, freight to market. Uh, just to give you an idea, one Tauranga business owner that I've spoken to, he has 30 fuel tankers and 15 bitumen trucks. He says that if delays like this continue on the state highway network over the next year, it's going to cost him around $1.6 million. Our fuel trucks, we lose an hour a day. So there's, there's 30 hours that we lost. So to complete that task, we're now looking for another two trucks, Another four guys. NZTA Waka Kotahi says that a safe and resilient state highway network is its priority and it's actually trumpeting the fact that from tomorrow motorists travelling south to Wellington will see brand new median barriers installed south of Cambridge on that deadly stretch of State Highway 1 all in a bid to reduce further injury and save lives, Laura. Karen Rutherford live from Topiti, thanks for the update.